Meanwhile, the Indian High Commission, interestingly in the United Kingdom, has slammed the British Member of Parliament, Preet Kaur Gill. This after the British Member of Parliament tweeted on an incident of sacrilege that took place at the Golden Temple. But the Indian High Commission issued a statement saying, and I quote here, It is constrained to unequivocally repudiate the public comment by a member of the British Parliament regarding a crime that occurred in India even before the Indian law enforcement authorities could investigate or comment or declare their findings. The Indian High Commission added that it is concerned at the effect that such commentary by a foreign member of parliament will have on intercommunal harmony and peace within the British Indian community. The said sacrilege incident occurred at the iconic Golden Temple in Amritsar, in which a man was after which allegedly lynched by worshippers and security guards after he jumped into the sanctum sanctorum of the Golden Temple. Now, following this incident in India, the British Member of Parliament, Preet Kaur Gill, took to social media site to express her angst even before an investigation had been carried out. In her initial tweet, the British Member of Parliament appeared to question the religion of the attacker and described him as a terrorist. But some social media users asked if the British Member of Parliament was attempting to make it communal. Her tweet got a furious response from the British Hindu community. And the Member of Parliament, Preet Kaur Gill, soon deleted her tweet. She then tweeted again, but this time condemned both the act of sacrilege and also the lynching. Now she tweeted, and I quote her here, Baird B incidents are unacceptable, but the lynching of another person is also unacceptable and no one should take matters into their own hands. We need a full inquiry into these matters. Meanwhile, a special investigation team under a Deputy Commissioner of Police, Law and Order has been constituted to investigate this incident. Preet Corgill is a Labour Member of Parliament and also the first female British Sikh Member of the Parliament. She's also the Labour Shadow Secretary of State for International Development. And Vyond Sidhan Sibyl has been tracking the story very closely for us and has sent us this report. Well, the sacrilege incident in the northern Indian state of Punjab has got reactions from overseas now. Uh, we know that uh, British MP, UK MP Preet Gorgil, she is a Labour MP, has commented on it. And in a previous tweet, she had made comments uh, which had uh, uh, caused an uproar. Uh, there, the, we also saw the Indian mission also reacting to it, cautioning against that uh, comment and also saying that it could impact uh, the inter-community uh, harmony in UK. We know that uh, uh, the British Indian community forms the largest ethnic group in the United Kingdom. Uh, but by and large, she made a new tweet uh, in which uh, she condemned the sacrilege incident and, of course, the lynching incident as well. But by and large, we know that... Uh, uh, whatever happens in India, there have been comments in the past as well. This time, of course, uh, from Preet Kaur Gil. She, of course, uh, is also the first Sikh MP, Sikh woman MP in the British uh, Parliament. Uh, and, of course, uh, she had reacted to the developments which happened over the weekend. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, in the past as well, we have seen a commentary coming. And, uh, of course, uh, the, the Indian missions have been proactive in terms of uh, uh, clarifying the situations and also uh, making sure that uh, facts are presented as they are. Video journalist uh, Neeraj Sidhan Sibyl for Vion in New Delhi. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.